pick a scripture that stands out to me, then I'd write about it, and it'd be, uh, so you observe what's the, what's the scripture saying? Let's say it's uh, um, for the first and greatest commandment is to love the, the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength. So I'd write that, and then I'd write, okay, what's it, what's it mean to love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind? And so you expand on it. And what, what it does, it, allow, it opens the door for God to teach you. Because the Holy Spirit lives inside of us when we're a Christian, right? So it opens the door to say, teach me, show me what this is. So in the morning, I'd get up and say, God, show me what you want to teach me. And the stuff I would write, I'd write stuff that I've got like probably, I don't know, 40 plus journals at home full of stuff that God's just shown me over the years and stuff that you've never even thought of before ever. And it just comes out, God's te- the Holy Spirit teaches you because it says, Jesus says, when the, when the comforter comes, he's going to teach you and he's going to show you things, stuff that I haven't told you yet because he's waiting for him to come. And so every morning I'd get up and do this and that's how it would change my life because you'd see this stuff and all of a sudden God's changing your heart, he's changing your mind, he's changing your outlook, he's changing everything from the inside out, from spending time in the scripture. I mean, the Bible says that the scripture is, is it's, sh- it's sharper than any two-edged sword, it's, it's a discerner of your thoughts and even in your motives in your heart. The scripture does that and it just changes you and all of a sudden you look back over six months, a year, two years, five years, and you're like, wow, how much have I changed? And I didn't even notice. And it's all because you're like, God, I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to prioritize my relationship with you because there's no way that God's going to force himself on you. You need to get up because James 4.8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So who draws first? We do. 